The purpose of the observation is to help increase consciousness of classroom practice, tools, resources, and ideas that may be useful and available to you. If you are unable to observe another teacher, you may video yourself teaching and reflect on your own practice. There is no time requirement for this observation. Type directly into this assignment your name, the school the observation occurred, the class subject level, grade, and the date of your observation. The pre-observation reflection section is designed for your input into what you are thinking about, what you are looking for, and what you hope to get out of the observation. What are your areas of need? What do you want to take back to your classroom? In the observation notes section, you will complete your observation notes. This can be in bullet or paragraph form. You want to write what you see and what you hear. What do you see and hear the teacher doing? What do you see and hear the students doing? These are observational notes and should be evidence-based, not your opinion. The post-observation reflection section should include what you think you may want to implement in your own classroom and what that might look like for you and your students. There should be connections made to the pre-observation reflection and your observation notes. How are you going to apply what you observed and what you learned into your own practice?